welcome to Greater Faith, where we are moving our faith into action. Our mission at Greater Faith is that we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and the beliefs of the Christian faith, to maintain the worship of God, and to inspire all persons a love for Christ, a passion for righteousness, and a consciousness of their duties to God and their fellow human beings. We pledge our lives to Christ and covenant with each other to demonstrate His Spirit through praise, worship, faith, and ministry to the needs of the people of this church and the community. concludes our morning announcements. Now let's usher the spirit by giving God the ultimate praise.
chapter 12 uh, is going to be verse number 2. Isaiah 12, verse 2. We're going to be reading from the NIV version this morning, so it may differ from a uh, different, it may differ from the version that you are reading from, but it's still the same word. Amen? Amen. God's word reads, surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense, and he has become my salvation. The word of God for the people of God this morning. The church says, amen. Let us pray. Most gracious Father God, we thank you for allowing us to join together this morning. Father God, Father God, just ask that you bless this service this morning, Father God. Father God, you are welcome in this house today, and we're going to have a good time, Father God. We want you to join us for a couple of hours, Father God, this morning. Father God, just ask you to continue, continue to bless greater faith, Father God. Father God, just continue to bless us, these servant, and everyone that's associated with greater faith. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now I'm going to do our mission statement at this time, and our mission statement reads, We, the people of greater faith, believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and the beliefs of the Christian faith, to maintain the worship of God and inspire all persons, a love for Christ, a passion for righteousness, and a consciousness of their duties to God and to their fellow human beings. We pledge our lives in Christ and cover, demonstrate his spirit through praise, worship, faith, and ministry to the needs of the people of this church and to the community. Amen. Do we have any announcements? Also, we are still currently selling tickets for the pastor's anniversary. They are $25. Um, we don't have any left, but if you would like to purchase the tickets, please get with us. We're going to pay through our um, uh, cash app, which is dollar symbol faith breaker.
They did a marvelous job. Amen. Amen. And worship and worship in their spirit. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for the word of God. If you have your biblical text, please turn to John 21. John 21. We're going to be reading from the uh, first verse to the sixth. John 21, verses 1 through 6. Amen. And when you find it, please stand for the reading of the word. I see that we didn't do it earlier, so let's do it now. Amen. Please stand for the reading of the Lord's word. Amen. Amen. When you find it, amen, just stand there because you know we got to do our thing. We got to do our thing, but we do it in great faith. John 21, verses 1 through 6. Great faith, just pause it right there. Amen. This is amazing. We almost got the Bibles. Amen. Filling this place up. But this side is this side is filled up over here. Amen. You going on this side? Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, if you have your phones, put them in here. Come on, put them in here. Amen. We're not scared to show the world that we have our what? We have our sword. Amen. We got our battle here. Amen. Amen. Take it, put it high in the air. Ready to have faith, help you say, and wave them like it. Just don't care. Amen. Y'all should be praising. Amen. I got it. Amen. It's the new look. Amen. It's the new outfit. It's the new orange. It's the new black. Amen. It's, it's the new summer thing. It's what you need. It's whatever you want to be. But I got it, Mama. I got it. Mama got her own right now. Amen. She got a Bible. Amen. Amen. Now, John 21, verses 1 through 6, the Lord word read. Later, Jesus appeared again to the disciples beside the Sea of Galilee. This is how it happened. Several disciples were there, Simon, Peter, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, Nathaniel from Canaan in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said, I am going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in the boat, but they caught nothing all night. At dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach, but the disciples couldn't see who he was. He called out, fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. Then he said, throw out your net on the right on the right hand side of the boat and you'll get some. So they did and they couldn't haul in the net because there were so many fish in it. Amen. Um, just say, read that one more time. I want y'all to get excited, y'all. This is, this is going to be a great word. I know that there is a word to move this sanctuary this morning. Amen. Come on, come on. Sister, say the Lord words read. One more time. Later, Jesus appeared again to the disciples beside the Sea of Galilee. Yes. This is how it happened. Several of the disciples were there. Simon Peter, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, Nathaniel from Canaan, in Galilee, the son of Zebedee. <clears throat> and two other disciples. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in the boat, and they caught nothing all night. At dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach, but the disciples couldn't see who he was. He called out, fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. Then he said, throw out your net on the right-hand side of the boat, and you'll get some. Soon they, so they did, and they couldn't haul in the net because there were so many fish in it. Amen, may God bless the reason here the truth of the Father, God, great faith, help me say, amen. amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, amen. Just for a moment, amen. We gonna raise the topic, mother, uh, entitled, you still haven't caught on. You still haven't caught on, amen. Come on, we wanna raise the topic from this previous Bible verse saying, you still haven't caught on, amen. I believe, bread of faith, and I believe, family, right now, that there are some people right now that still haven't caught on to what Jesus can do for you, amen. I believe that there's a lot of believers right now, amen, that still, what, straddle the fence, that still has a, what, pers uh, perseverance about themselves, amen. They preserve about certain things in their life, amen. They say that Jesus can do this and Jesus can do that, but sometimes they say that Jesus cannot fix this or Jesus cannot give this, okay. amen. They may not say it verbally, but it all shows on their action, amen. I say that I believe okay. in him, but that I show otherwise. I say that I trust him, but I doubt otherwise. I say that I need him but I show otherwise. Amen. Here we start to see that Jesus is showing them that if you cast your net on the right side of the boat, amen, 
amen, you will have what? Abundance of fish. The fish that would not be able to what? Hold the blessing that I'm getting ready to give to you. Amen. Do I got some people right now saying that I'm willing to cast my net on the right side of the boat. Amen. I'm willing to do what Jesus said, what he want me to do. Amen. Here we start to see that the disciples right now have been fishing all night there. Amen. They've been fishing all night, mothers. Amen. They've been fishing all night, Sean. Great faith. They've been fishing all night long. Amen. And haven't caught one thing. Amen. They picked up no license plate tag. They haven't picked up no tires. They haven't picked up no shoes. They haven't picked up no clothes. They haven't picked up anything. Amen. They have caught nothing in these nets. These nets was just dry. Amen. And a lot of us right now know that if we were been fishing all night long, we would simply say, it's time to get this boat back to the shore. Amen. Because I got to go home and what? And fix me something to eat. Amen. We would have gave up. Amen. The first time that we pulled up. Amen. We would have gave up the second time we pulled up the net. I got to have some people here right now. We would have gave up the third time that we pulled up the net. Amen. But when Jesus come along, amen. We simply say that, amen. I can't give up. I won't give up. Amen. Because there is a blessing when Jesus comes along. Yeah. Yeah. They've been fishing, brother faith, all night long. The word said so they were out there all night long. Some of y'all been partying all night wow. long. Oh. Amen. Some of y'all been drinking all <laughs> night long. Some of y'all been creeping all night. I gotta be talking to somebody in this sanctuary. You've been doing something, but all night long, and you haven't got no results from what you've been doing all night long. Amen. Some people right now stay out all night. Put your hands up right now. Put the clicks in here. 
here. Amen. I hope you lead them to the right place. Amen. Come on, let's go to church. Uh, what all the church people have said? I don't mind grabbing somebody and breaking the church. Amen. There we go, hands going up. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't mind grabbing them and saying, yeah, come on, we need to get to church. Amen. I see, come on, I see you. Amen. Here at Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. And the rest of the clique said, we'll come too. Amen. They all said it. Amen. So they went out on the boat. Amen. But they caught nothing. I told you earlier, they caught nothing. Say it loud, pretty thing. They caught nothing all night. All night long. All night long. Amen. And here it is. And dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach. Amen. Hey, God, amen, amen, amen. You've been out there stressing. You've been out there worried, amen. You've been out there all night long, and then comes your problem solving, amen. Been standing right there while you've been stressing, while you've been, while you've been losing the mind, while you've been drowning in depression, while you've been yelling in dread, dead, amen. Jesus is standing right there saying that I've been waiting on you to, amen, to look up and see that salvation is standing before you. I've been waiting for you to look up and see that your problem do I got some people saying all I need to do is what? Look up and see that Jesus is standing in front of me. Jesus is my promise. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my lover. Amen. Jesus is my provider. All you gotta do, brother, baby, say with me is what? Look up. Look up. Amen. And Don Jesus was standing on the beach. I can see my Jesus right now. Looking at me struggling, amen. I can see my Jesus, amen. Look at me talking about I'm sick and I can't get well. I can see my Jesus looking at me talking about I ain't got no money in my pocket, amen. I can see my Jesus saying right now they don't love me, they they keep rejecting me, amen. I can see I can see my Jesus looking at me right now in the courtroom right now, fearing for my freedom. I can see Jesus looking at me right now, looking at my probation on my parole. Do I got some people? 
people. Say, I just got to latch on to, hey, to oh, Jesus. Hey, man, there was a woman, Mary, inside the biblical text said that if I could just reach out and touch the hill of God his garment, yeah, yeah. we got to be like the woman yeah. that what? Reach out and yeah. touch the hill of his arm garment. Yeah. Amen. That means that I'm what? I'm catching. I'm catching on. Yeah. When you catch on, man, you, you stop worried about your sickness. You stop worried about, amen, who don't like you. You stop worried about what they think about you, what they say about you, amen. You stop worried about how you're going to eat. You're going to stop worried about how you're going to get, how you going to get some money. I got to be talking to somebody, amen. When you catch on, guess what? Food will show up, amen. When you catch on, money will start to pop up. When you catch on, when you can't walk, you start walking. When you catch on, the headaches are all way there. Catch on. Jesus talk, lines start. 
start to change. When Jesus starts to talk, things start to change. Amen. Your situation starts to change. Amen. Your desires start to change. Amen. Your blessings start to overflow. Amen. And in this book, it says it right here. Listen. Then Jesus said, throw your net on the right hand. Listen. Here's the deal right here. Can't nothing happen until Jesus speaks. Y'all missing that whole point. Nothing in your life is going to happen until Jesus speaks. Amen. When Jesus releases, blessings are going to flow. When Jesus let it go, things are going to start to disappear. Do I? Got some people right now saying, speak to me, Jesus. I need you to talk to me right now. So things can start happening in my life. Amen. Here's the deal. See, when Jesus speaks, it's going to happen. Amen. There's somebody in this sanctuary right now that's been waiting on it, a blessing. There's somebody sanctuary right now, been waiting for their body to be healed. There's somebody in the sanctuary right now that's been waiting for a financial increase. There's a, there's a person in the sanctuary wondering right now, Jesus, how old would I be without? There's a, I, I must be in the wrong church. There's a person in the right now saying, Jesus, just talk to me so I know that everything will be okay. Jesus said, speak my future into existence. Jesus, tell me
Just speak Jesus. Amen. Just, just say, somebody yeah. say, speak Jesus. Speak Jesus. Come on, speak. Yeah. We got to be careful, Mother, where we are selecting to fish. Yeah. Amen. We want to go back to the same place where God has delivered us from. Amen. Amen. Where Jesus has brought us from. Amen. We want to go back to the same spot that we can do what Jesus did. Amen. Just because Jesus find you there, amen, doesn't mean that you want to find somebody there. Amen. You got to remove yourself away from there and let Jesus go back to the fishing yeah. hole. Amen. Yeah. You can't, if you're not delivered from drinking, stop going to a bar. Amen. If you're not delivered from drinking, I'm saying again, stop going around people who all, that's all they do is drink. Amen. Yeah. If you're not free or delivered from what's smoking and living a life of love, amen, stop going around people that tell you, amen. It's okay, amen. God is not going to get you. You got to sit and tell him, amen. I'm a new man. I'm a new woman. I move away from that. I change my lifestyle, amen. I'm living from Jesus and not living from man, amen. Jesus found me at this fishing hole, amen. And he'll find you at that fishing hole, amen. But I can't go back to the place where he's living.
since he came fishing for me. Amen. They say he's a fisherman of men. Amen. Do I got some believers that I'm glad that he, he didn't have to throw a short, but for me, he didn't throw it but way out. Amen. Come on. I, I got some people saying, I'm so glad that Jesus tossed the net, but way out. I was wrapped up so deep in that. I didn't think that nobody for Jesus can but reel me in. Be careful where you are selecting me. The fishing hole. Mother, I gotta ask you this real quick. What are you looking to catch? When you out there fishing all night long, you got to ask yourself, what are you looking to catch? Amen. I, I'm not gonna be in a spot where I'm I'm sorry, I'm never saying I'm probably offensive people. Amen. I'm not trying to catch no catfish. Amen. I gotta Mother, mothers, talk to me. Come on, very fast. I'm, I'm right. not trying to catch some things that only feed off the bottom. All right, now. Come on, man. They didn't catch it, man. Y'all got to catch it. I don't want to catch something that's feeding off the bottom. Get that sound. Yeah. I don't want to catch a fish that eat trash and, and, and any other junk. Amen. I'm not trying to catch a fish, amen, that's doing the same thing yeah. that I'm doing. I'm not trying to Amen. Wrap this thing up. 
Listen, I told you before that the only way that you're going to get your breakthrough, Sean, the only way that you're going to get your miracle, say, yeah. the only way, Mary, that you're going to get what you have asked God for is that it will not work until Jesus speaks. Amen. It's not going to work until Jesus speaks. You, you can do all the stuff that you want. You can say all you want to, but until Jesus said, it's yours. Come on, come on, Brad Faith, talk to me. We, you, you, you got to listen. There's some people right now saying that I waited, I worked, I stretched out. Amen. Lost my mind. Walked in depression. Got sick about it. Amen. What? Lost the sleep. Lost the weight. Lost the hair. Amen. Gained some hair, which is a great hair. Walking into my new uh, relationship, I'm walking into my new what? 
Now let his will be done and release it to him. That means stop stressing, stop worrying, stop believing in sickness, stop believing of the fate of what the world want to do to you. It means that I have released total control over to my heavenly father. I'm no longer stressing out the word about what I can't control. Amen. Because we stress out and worry about stuff that's out of our control. God simply said that the birds don't worry. He simply said that everything has its place and its time. Yes. Ready to think? Your time is now. You release it. Don't pick it up. That's right. Don't listen to what they don't say this and that. You say that his will is being done. Yes. Can we sit up on our feet and give the Lord a round of applause and build something down right now? Sound like y'all were faint with it. Can we pray to God and thank you? said that I will make you fishermen of men. Mm. And I say this is because a lot of us keep going back and revisiting places where Jesus found us at. Mm. And if you are back in that place where Jesus found you at the first time and you're not working or you're not doing the will of God, please ask yourself why are you there? Ask yourself, why are you there? Ask yourself, why are you there? And I ask, I guarantee that a lot of us have asked ourselves, mother, a time or two, why do I keep going right back down this road? You'll find yourself asking yourself, why am I back in this situation? You ask yourself, why do I continue to do the same thing that I was done before? You ask yourself, why do I continue to let that person come in and out of my life? You continue to ask yourself, amen, why do I let them talk to me like that? You ask yourself, did I escape the abuse the first time? Why do I find myself back in the hands of the person who inflicted? Come on, talk to me. You ask yourself, that why do I find myself back in the place where I find myself that I got away from because my yeah. body was what? Was filled with pain, sickness, and I even had cancer from drinking, smoking, or doing whatever type of drugs. Ask yourself, why do you find yourself back in this place where he delivered you from. If he delivered you from it, hmm. I asked you before, then why are you there? If you're not there ministering or preaching the word of God or, or tell someone just as I came out and he delivered me from it, yes. then you shouldn't be there. Right. Amen. But a lot of us go back because oh we won't God. see if we miss it or not. And when you find out that when you get there, it's not that you miss it, it's the fact that the devil said, welcome back. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. Come on, brother. Thank you. Love the Lord. 